Highway 3's sharpest curves, the conditions are too much for one big rig. Just before dawn, an eastbound semi hit black ice and thundered off a of preacher's corner. smashing deep into the forest. So this one slides into the side. It looks like it kind of hit a tree, but halfway up the trailer. Yes. Uh, and that breaks the back of the thing, I guess. Yeah. Which I... would be like the deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why is that a big problem? One thing about a dry van is that a dry van is very weak. You know, they're made, they're made for specifically payload. So weight going down on it, but that's about it. You know, the roof has no structure. The sides have very limited structure. The wood on the floor actually is the biggest structure to the whole thing. If you pull that trailer out and, and put a good load on it, you know, some good winching, you can actually do more damage to the trailer to the point where you can't tow it. So we saw here, they came up with a way to try to give it some strength. So they used two sets of chains, almost like yeah. to the four opposite corners. Yeah. What do you call that? They call it cross chaining and they'll, they'll chain it from the rear to the front. And what they're basically doing is giving it, giving the belly some structure. So they get the thing out and then they had another problem again. So they get it out and you can actually see it. It's kind of sagging there. In, in the middle, yeah. So, you, so are those chains not doing their job? Well, they are, but the, you know, the trailer is just so compromised that, that there's nothing much more you can do with it but put it on a low bed at the end of the day. Right. I mean, the only other option here is take some chop saws and, and a, or a, a, an excavator and crunch it up and put it in a bin. Right, which would take a long time. So, okay, he, go, he goes at it here with an ax. It kills me to see that. <laughs> I thought it was just getting, when I first saw it, I thought he was just getting mad at the thing, but it turns out yeah. there's some method to his madness right. here. Chris, you know, did everything he could possibly do. You gotta give him credit for this because he's, he's thinking on the fly. He's, he's doing everything he can do to make that thing work. This, this, is, this is a very, you know, you know, drawn out wreck, you know, working into two long days mm -hmm. for these guys. People think that, uh, you know, they come there with the big machines and just winch this stuff out and it's done in 45 minutes, which can happen, but they're not all like that. Luckily enough, it all held together and we got her on there. What a trailer. Plan B worked. You gotta see if I get rid of this tree. Put it right in the trailer. It's freight, I'm okay with hauling a tree. <laughs> After two days, Heavy Rescue has pulled off a miracle at Preacher's Corner. Are they saying Highway 3 is completely open now? Yes. Yeah.